Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Geek With Glasses Live. Today I am going to be doing a demo of the new FaceTime for Mac application, which you can kind of see right here on the uh, screen. Today at the Apple event, the Back to Mac Apple event that was held out in uh, California, Steve Jobs announced the new FaceTime for Mac app, something all of us uh, FaceTime users and iPhone 4 owners or iPad owners have kind of been hoping and uh, wanting to see from Apple, and today we got that release. Um, they actually released the beta and is available. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a link for that down in the uh, uh, video subscription so that you can go out and test this if you're running a Macintosh. Um, Let's dive right into it. Let's take a look and see how it works. When you install the FaceTime for Mac app on the computer, on the right-hand side is kind of your option settings. And uh, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is log into an Apple ID account, uh, an Apple Store account, if you've got one. If not, it'll ask you to create one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to associate the FaceTime for Mac um, application to an email address. That's how you'll call from a mobile device or another computer to a FaceTime for Mac um, uh, FaceTime call. You'll use an email address as opposed to when you call an iPhone 4, you'll use a phone number. So uh, let's just take a quick look and see exactly how that works. As you can see, the uh, contact, you, you'll have a favorites list so you can put people in your favorites. You've got your recent call list and then you've got a contact list. And this actually is a contact list that actually just grabs from your Mac contacts. So uh, that's directly integrated. Um, Let's make a call. So here you can see I've called myself five times. I had to prep for the video. We'll go ahead and initiate that call. As you can see over here on the iPhone, we'll just go ahead and wait for it. And there you go. Would you like to accept a FaceTime call from Neil Barron? That would be me. Absolutely. So let's slide that and initiate the call. We get the connecting information here on the phone. And then you get the title screen that disappears and you have the picture in picture. Pretty cool. Just like on the phone where we can grab our windows and move it around. You can do the exact same thing on the Mac client. So you can move that around. And just like on the phone, if I switch over to landscape, both the videos switch landscape. It looks real nice, very seamless, and integrates very well. I can move this window around and put it anywhere I want. And also, if I would like, I can go full screen. So if you're in a landscape mode and you're looking uh, with your mobile device, whether it's an iPod, iPod or an iPad or an iPhone, if you go landscape, you'll get a full 16 by 9 full screen image on your PC. Well, I'm sorry, not on your PC, but on your Mac. Maybe they'll release a PC version. That would be kind of cool. Um, otherwise, you've got a portrait view in a full screen or a non-screen full screen mode. One of the other cool features is just like on the other phone or uh, phone to phone FaceTime, I can click the reverse button and get a, a nice picture-in-picture. Picture. I'm not sorry, not a picture-in-picture, picture, but the uh, outward-facing camera view. I don't know why I said picture-in-picture, picture. probably because I'm seeing a picture-in-picture. Picture. But uh, you can switch back and forth between the two cameras very seamlessly, very easily. As you can see, uh, it, it works pretty flawlessly. It's actually uh, running over my uh, Wi-Fi network and it's uh, working pretty good. Let's go ahead and end this call and we'll show you what it's like to initiate a call from a phone to a Mac client. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead open this up we will we will unlock the phone and I will launch my contacts I'll cover up all of my important information here and I will see a FaceTime button uh, down on the bottom of the phone we'll click on the FaceTime button it then brings up a list I will select oops that's the wrong FaceTime number uh, let's try this again let's go back to contacts we'll say FaceTime I'll just edit this out and then select the email address that is associated and there you go. You can see the received FaceTime call. Accept that call. It makes the connection over the uh, internet. A little bit of a delay there, but not too bad. And there we have it, FaceTime call. So video conferencing made very easy. So this is a really cool feature if you're out on a, a business trip or if you're away from home or you just want to uh, give somebody a call and have a face chat with them as long as your iPhone or iPod or iPad is on a Wi-Fi network. You now have that ability to very easily do video chat from mobile device to a stationary computer, which I think is pretty cool. Um, It'd be even more cool if uh, AT&T AT would allow FaceTime over 3G because then I could be out uh, pretty much doing whatever I want, sitting on a beach, and I could call up my friends and brag and show them the, uh, the beautiful ocean and the blue skies and the seagulls. Or uh, if I'm off on a vacation somewhere, I can show them you know, the beautiful majestic Rome if I'm traveling through Rome or wherever else I may be. But um, other than that, that's your FaceTime. It's pretty cool. It works very seamlessly, and there's really no setup. You just install the app and you start it. You, you assign an email address, and you're good to go. Whoops, I've had that out of the view the entire time. But uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's a pretty seamless and pretty cool 
little function. So if you have any questions or if you want me to do another video or any more in-depth review, and there are some basic uh, settings um, that you can mess with, but you can't mess with any video settings or anything like that, just turn on FaceTime or turn off FaceTime. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or send me an email. And uh, all of that information you can find over at geekwithglasses.net. And uh, check out the new website as well if you would like, uh, geekwithglasses.net. We've changed to a new format. And uh, let me know what you think about it. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, and that's twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And you can fan me up on uh, Facebook or like me, whatever it is that you do these days. And that's uh, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.